you are alone at home and worried about your English speaking. So if you are facing this common problem, so this video is for you. I'm a Vaish Malik and you are watching English with a Vaish Malik. In this video, I'm going to share with you a very unique and a very useful and helpful techniques, steps and tips which helps you to improve your English alone at home. If you are worried about your English speaking and you are at home and doesn't have an other activity and doesn't engage other people for the purpose of improving English speaking. So this video is for you. Don't forget to watch this video till end. So without wasting your time, let's start the video. I'm going to share with you a very unique, a very special and very helpful tips which helps you to improve your English speaking alone at home. In this video, I am going to share with you a very useful tips and what those tips are and how can you use it for the purpose of improving English speaking. So let's begin with the first tips and the first tip is that dictate in English instead of writing. Mostly we use for dictating use certain tips of writing. We use writing for the purpose of dictating someone. If we need something, we are always looking for writing. So I just want to write a letter to my friends. I just want to write something to get an answer in this context. But if you are moving to words, dictating in English or English speaking on the other way while you are using writing techniques. For example, you are using a Google app. So whenever you are using it, so you can see that how can you speak with the help of mic and get a very useful context, a very useful things that you want to gain. After speaking, you will be able to move towards a lot of things. So this is a very useful tips and very useful technique which helps you to improve your English speaking. As an English speaker, you always prefer to dictate things in English speaking form as compared to writing. Minimize the writing and improves and maximizes speaking English. So this will help you to improve your English speaking. So this is the first tip. So the second tip that is also very important and it linked with the previous one. Whenever you read English, whenever you read English or speak or watching some movies, you just have to read English subtitle. So the second tips or second techniques is that use English subtitle and how can subtitle helps you to improve your English speaking. You just have to get a lot of subtitles from the videos, from the plays, from the games and other different things. If you have interest in certain topics, so you can use it from this. So when you get a lot of subtitles, you just have to write down and then start practicing on one by one. After practicing those, you will be able to get a lot of confidence about speaking English. So this is a second and a very useful thing that is read English subtitle allowed. Read English subtitle allowed. Whenever you are watching plays, whenever you are seeing some a lot of things, so you just have to repeating those subtitles loudly. So this will give you a lot of courage, it will give you a lot of confidence and a lot of words and situations as well. So the third step that is also very important and this is singing aloud with English lyrics. Whenever you see that singing something as you are a voice of singer or a singer in front of the public places. So you just have to try to sing in English. Whenever you are at home, we have know that most of us spending our time in singing certain things and singing certain poems, certain songs as well. So you just have to utilize those things for the purpose of improving English. It will help you, it will give you a lot of confidence and it will also help you for
for the purpose of improving pronunciation. So this is a very useful tool, a very useful technique which helps you for the purpose of improving English. So the fourth step, fourth one is also very important and that is about the commentate a sports broadcast. Most of broadcasting sports are available on different screens. So you just have to utilize those for the purpose of improving English. As an English language user, you have to get a lot of words from sports broadcasting. You get a lot of expressions, you get a lot of emotions as well whenever you see a different sports. As a sports lover, you just have to get out a lot of words from it. By watching sports, even live or offline, even live and offline, you just have to focus on the words that a commentator has to be used whenever he representing, whenever he or she is presenting some occasion. So you have to utilize those commentary for the purpose of improving English language. So the next step and the fifth step that is also very important and that is about listen. Listen and practice. Listen, practice and repeat it. Whenever you listen something, you just have to repeat it. And when you repeat it twice of times, it will give you a lot of confidence. It will give you and improve your pronunciation. It helps you to improve your English. It helps you to improve your confidence level as well. And also helps you to improve your body language as well. As we know that as a speaker of English, as a speaker of even every language, we have to work on the body language as well. So listen and repeat, listen and repeat. This activity is very useful. This activity is a very helpful for the purpose of improving English. So the next and also very important that is about you are alone at home, you just start talking yourself. Whenever you start to talk yourself, it will give you a lot of confidence. It will give you a lot of words and emotions and repetitions of a lot of the things. You just start talking with yourself in the forms of monologues. So this is a very useful technique, a very useful tool for the purpose of improving English language. Next step, that is also very important and that is describe the situation. You are at, a, at homes and you have know that how many situations as it, alone you have to face at homes. So lonely at homes, you just try to describe in certain situations then those situations will help you to improve your English language. As English language speakers, you have to utilize those mentioned techniques, those tools for the purpose of improving English language. Next and the last one and a very important, whenever you repeat something, whenever you get a repetition of something, whenever you start monologuing with yourselves and whenever you are dictating or writing and speaking something so that thing you have to record your voice these tools is also very important this technique is also very helpful for the purpose of improving english speaking as english speaker you just have to record your voice and then you have to repeat and listen it again and again and this repetition will be moved towards the perfection and you will be minimize your mistakes it will reduce your stress it will also give you a courage confidence and helps you to use it freely and confidently so these tools and these tips and techniques are might be and definitely useful for you for improving english speaking so if you get value and gets a motivation from this video so don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you so much.